Our digital render of the 1961 Jaguar XKE combines iconic styling with modern performance. Hotcar's digital artist Rostislav Prokop has done a remarkable job in bringing the Jaguar XKE back to life with this new modern interpretation. The Jaguar E-Type, or the XKE as it was in America, is to many one of the most beautiful sports cars ever created. Even now, its design is one that gearheads gravitate towards. That got us thinking as to what a brand new 2023 version of the XKE would look like. Hot Cars digital artist Rostislav Prokop decided to work his magic and bring the XKE back to life in this brand new digital render. The rendering combines some current Jaguar's design evolution with many of those from the original XKE to blend modern and old. It also makes us hope Jaguar is watching as it looks spectacular. Original design cues from the Jaguar XKE are clear, stand out, Features of Prokop's Jaguar XKE rendering retains original design cues such as the grille and headlights, wider and more aggressive looking than the original XKE. Modern LED in the front and rear update the XKE. The render retains the classic shape of the original Jaguar. Prokop has drawn inspiration from the beautiful design features of the original XKE. The styling of the front grille with the elongated oval shape and the Jaguar badge centered on the chrome strip. all hark back to the XKE. It looks right at home on this modernized version of the classic car. There is no chrome bumper at the front end, which now heavily resembles the modern F-Type. Prokop has retained the shape of the original headlights. The teardrop shape and the large housing for the lights look fantastic on the modernized bodywork. The front end of this reimagined new XKE is much bigger. There is a lot more bodywork now with the front showcasing how much fatter and bulkier a new XKE would be if Jaguar created it in 2023. The slim front end of the original was replaced by modern design language. To his credit, Prokop has aimed to keep this as close as possible to the original XKE. The new hood is long and more pronounced, but it features the signature power bulge in the center, as on the classic from the 1960s. The vents on either side of the ball jade and cooling what will be a larger powertrain in this new XKE. The new front splitter and vents at the front of the new XKE are also modern additions, yet it is remarkable how close it matches the older version. This new Jaguar XKE is much bulkier than the 1960s original. As we look at the rear of the new XKE, Prokop has again tried to replicate the original Jaguar as much as he could. The rear of this two-door coupe has the same GT shape as the original with its graceful teardrop down to the back and its large rear window. The rear styling looks sharp, even without hard edges and creases. The round and elegant shape of the XKE render echoes the 1960s classic. The taillights are modernized, with Prokop putting them into a thin rectangular shape similar to the 1960s XKE. The attention to detail is remarkable on the render. Prokop has placed the twin exhausts right in the middle, resembling the original XKE. It is a small detail, but it helps link the two vehicles together. An obvious addition to the new XKE is the large diffuser, underlying its sporty credentials, as well as the modern Jaguar badge on the rear. It's clear to see that this rendered vehicle from Prokop is of much bigger proportions. The bodywork is much wider, and that is obvious with how it arches over the new wheels and tires and how it's sculpted at the rear of the Jaguar. The wheels themselves sport a modern Jaguar design, and the famous big cat emblem is in the center of those wheels. The extra size is so this new rendering fits in with modern car design language. Modern XKE interpretation looks sleek and profile. Similarities between the old and new rendered Jaguar XKE. The original shape of the grille with chrome strip and Jaguar emblem. The same exhaust position and layout at the rear of the XKE. The teardrop shape at the back of the XKE. The headlight design is also the same teardrop shape as per the original XKE. While the side of the original XKE was incredibly sleek, Prokop has opted for more aggressive styling here. The area around the front quarter panels is still smooth and clean, but the duct behind the front wheel will help smooth out the airflow around the sports car. The original XKE featured a smoother line across the doors, but the new air vent adds a modern sharpness to the design. The circular wing mirrors have also been replaced with modern aero-optimized mirrors. Earlier versions of the XKE and E-Type never had mirrors at all, as they were not a requirement when the car first came out. 
Procop has created a main rendering set of the XKE in the famous British Racing Green, but has also crafted the car in gold and dark blue body paints. The gold in particular shows off the lines of the new sports car by making the hood bulge more prominent as well as the classic shape of the grille. The Jaguar XKE slash E-Type weighed only 2,810 pounds. The XKE was one of the most prominent car designs of the 20th century. Jaguar produced the sports car from 1961 to 1974, and XKE's eye-catching design instantly shot it to fame. It was even rumored that Enzo Ferrari called the XKE the most beautiful car ever made in March 1961, according to E-Type UK. At the time, the British sports car was also a pioneer among its peers, as it didn't use a ladder frame chassis. Instead, the engine and suspension were mounted to a subframe, which was bolted to the aluminum tub. As a result, the XKE was one of the lightest sports cars on the market. According to Car and Driver, its construction meant the Jaguar Series 1 E-Type weighed just 2,810 pounds, which is lighter than most modern sports cars. Its inline-six engine was one of its key selling points, and the final Series 3 XKE would have a huge 5.3-liter V12 under the hood as part of the sports car's swan song. With that in mind, our modern take would need something with even more performance. The most logical choice would be the 5.0-liter supercharged V8 from the 2023 Jaguar F-Type R. This power plant makes 567 GP and 516 LBFD of torque. With those types of numbers, a modern Jaguar XKE could make a lot of sense. Now, if only Jaguar would build it.